morning Capricorn, this is Marishi, you're my channel to love again. I'm using my slow tarot deck to see what messages or what guidance is coming through for the rest of the month of September 2019 for the Capricorn people out there. I've already pulled out three sets of cards. In the first set, we've got the Ten of Swords as your first card. We've got the Five Cups and the Death card. While I was pulling out these cards, um, few things caught my attention. I never noticed the mirror up here behind the little boy who's crying over those broken uh, teapots. If you look at the mirror, there is a door which is open. There is sig some kind of significance about this within your reading. Okay? And the window. Okay? The window is open. Anyways, what I want to say is Capricorns out there might be feeling some kind of a betrayal. This is what I thought in the beginning. Okay? You might be the one who is being betrayed. But after I pulled the cards, I felt there was a twist in the story. Okay? I feel like you might be the one who's on the wrong side. Because I wrote down the words taking the wrong side, uh, taking sides, which is the wrong side, windows, feasting over the dead. These are the three things which I had to write down when I was pulling out your cards. Feasting over the dead. This dead card is always about transition, transforming the current situation. But for some reason, I would say, Capricorns out there might be celebrating the death of something. The death of a relationship. Combined with the deception, which I got out of this card, the Ten of Swords, okay? It feels like you are the one who is betraying you are the one who is going behind somebody's back doing something which will be the death of a relationship okay and when that death happens you will be able to celebrate it very interesting yeah it's dark but that's how you're coming through as even the King of Swords at the end of the reading is proving out the sign. Okay? And um, when I was uh, keeping the deck, okay, behind the deck is a Nine of Pentacles. But while I was, um, you know, a card called out to look at it. Okay? Because it was speaking out. And when I checked what it was, it's a Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody is coupling up by betraying someone else. Yeah. The king and the queen are couples, but both are in reverse. So there is a selfishness about the way the things are being handled. In this relationship either I'm speaking directly to the Capricorns or this might be happening in your life you might be the one who's being betrayed and you might be dealing with this couple okay take it as how it is so they also this card speaks a lot it is very graphic Close your eyes if you can't feast on that. If you look at the person who's down there with the 10 swords on his back, it's a little too much. Okay? The blood is just all over the floor. You can see the reflection of this person on the blood, on the pool of blood. 
this person's eye is open okay it's almost like you know when this person is dying they can see or you can see the betrayal you have done to them in their eyes they have their eyes open but i don't think so they are breathing anymore but looking at this person's eyes you can see the betrayal this person has gone through and if you are the one who has betrayed them the eye speaks to you hmm? whatever you have done to them it is clear as day in their eyes for some reason i want to say this card is all about betrayal somebody deceiving someone hmm? there is lots of regrets disappointments etc maybe the one who is being deceived is in the situation where they are crying over what has been broken somebody has left the scene okay what i spoke about initially regards to the mirror and the door open this person this child sitting over here is crying over the spilt milk over the broken teapot it can't be fixed back again how much ever you try to glue it up together it is still going to show it is cracked up can you drink out of a teapot which is you know broken and then you glued it together can you can you actually drink from it no how much ever you try to polish it out it is going to show the scars or the you know show show the pieces are glued back it is useless actually somebody has walked away because this you know this this person is crying it doesn't have to be a child this person is crying over somebody who has left the scene who has left their life okay and even didn't have the time to close the door behind them so somebody might have left just like that never expected that to happen even the betrayal is like it just happened deception that card but yet for some reason in this card i see joy okay these three cards talk to me about deception somebody is being deceived okay some kind of betrayal has happened somebody has walked out on them they never saw it coming and someone is celebrating somebody else is gaining out of it out of this situation again this is going back to this card the windows so i had to look closely at the windows because they asked me to look closely at the windows when i looked at it there was this image i don't know whether you can see it on the camera there is like a couple behind this it's in the dark but is uh, but there is this Uh, stick figures like you can see the shadow of a person two people together okay so the door the mirror shows the door somebody has walked out and somebody is together they have coupled up so just what i was saying somebody is feast, feasting over the death of a relationship because they got to be together with the person who walked out hmm? i don't know which side of the story you you are in but with the king of swords i want to say you might be the one who is deceiving but you would know better hmm? but this is a story which i'm looking at going to the second set
This green lady is all about fortune. Gamble. Hmm? And we have got the Hierophant in reverse though. We've got the Nine of Cups. This is almost like, I do want to put it out there, you could be the one who's doing this. You are the one who is like closing the eye in regards to what is normal and what is not, what is right and what is wrong, okay? If you look at uh, this woman, she has her, one of her eyes is closed and the other one is open. So it's like ignoring the traditions. Hierophant is all about tra uh, traditions. It is in reverse right now. So, worldly views, like the world goes in a particular route. It is all etched. Now, this is how it has to be. This is how it needs to be. But, I see you taking a gamble over this traditions, over what is wrong and what is right. You're actually closing an eye over the script which, you know, traditionally people expect you to follow. You're taking a gamble on that. Okay? You're taking a gamble. And you're actually, you know, risking it, thinking you will get through it somehow. Okay? Even if that means you have to break down a relationship to get what you want. Maybe that's the only way you can get what you want. You have to deceive or betray somebody to get what you want. Okay. Nine of Cups. All what you're doing is for your future. This is somebody who's way in her 90s probably, but yet she's content. She's looking at a family album. At least I think it is an album. Okay? And all these cups behind her. This is a water element card. It's all about the cups. All these cups be showcased behind her is all the memories, all the achievements, all what she has accumulated in her past years. 60 70 years, this is all what she had to show the people what she lived for. But to get what she wants, to get all this which she dreamed about, this is how it should be. For that, what she had to do was close an eye to what is right and what is wrong. She had to do this, she had to do this, okay, and make somebody be in this situation, okay, in despair, because of what you are doing back here. You had to literally break somebody's relationship. Put an end to somebody's relationship to get what you want. Only then would you be happily retired. Your old age will be secure only then. Wow. Not judging you, but to each their own. Right. Gambling. Gambling for your future security. And for that, you will have to go to any extent, even the, if that means feasting on the dead. Yes, going out of traditions, going out of being the concert, conservative one, because if you follow the traditions, you will never get the person this seems to be like a relationship reading. You will never, if you follow the traditions, be the conservative one, you will never get what you want. You will never be able to look at the family 
albums or portraits with the person you know you have literally snatched away from someone's life you dream of having a portrait having grandchildren with this one person but right now it seems like that one person belongs to somebody else i know this is very harsh you don't want to hear it maybe but this is this might not be for everybody out there this might be for just one or two but yet they want me to read this they want me to speak about it and it's my job to do that hmm? anyways i might get a lot of uh dislikes hates for this but what can i do three of coins third party energy it's like when i spoke about betrayal because if i mirror the cards with the ten of swords it's almost like you were or somebody a friend or someone okay but you are the third wheel in this you're like the third wheel that's how this person did not see it coming because they trusted you i don't say you literally killed it no there is this harsh energy about deception because you had to do it because you wanted something so badly that there is no other way around it that's the only way you can just justify it i can only come up with that maybe you have more to say so three of coins so it's always like you were together like you were the third party they trusted you they trusted you blindly hmm not knowing what it was all about they didn't they did not see it coming i don't see you repenting not wanting to amend for your sins okay not wanting to fix things up because then you will lose out okay that is why i said you're having a blind eye at what is right and what is wrong you are taking a gamble for your future okay you are taking a gamble you don't want to see um you don't want to weigh the scales or be judged in this situation because then everything is going to go down the drain yeah what you what you thought and what you invested you won't get back the returns for that you might need to go the wrong way that is why when i was re, uh, pulling out the cards there was this um taking sides because initially i thought you know you might be the one who's getting deceived maybe you are and this is the other side of the story okay this is being di directed at the cross watcher you might be familiar with the story anyways you have the queen of swords is it the queen of swords king of swords is sitting up there so you have to do this however selfish it is however manipulative that you come out as as a queen of swords in reverse you have to do it just like i said you think there is no other way around it and you don't want to amend or atone or anything yeah this is an atonement card which is literally speaking about fixing uh what has been sinned if you have sinned then you need to fix it if you don't want karma to bite your ass you might need to you will be forced to amend your sins at least once in life but yet you are closing your eyes okay to what you have done to someone else and atonement is something which you you, you are just ignoring for now okay because you are working your magic with the other person putting the dust on their eyes in their eyes just to blind them because your intentions are this 
Hmm? I don't want to blame just on you because as I said the king of swords is also playing playing the game with you okay it's a couple energy and both of you are in reverse you know you're doing wrong but yet for both of you to be together this is the right thing to do you made the decision okay you made the decision with the two of swords to fight it out to do whatever it takes if this is what it takes you will go to this extent Nine of Pentacles in reverse behind the deck speaks about somebody who's not... You do this because you don't want to be uh, apart from this person, okay? From this person. You feel like you're meant to be together and he, he or she might be married, okay? Married to this individual. Until and unless you get this person out of the picture, you wouldn't be able to be together. It's like a criminal episode right now. <laughs> yeah. There is a recklessness about how things are being um, assimilated or how things are, you know, being considered. what needs to be done, like how your brains are working right now is a little reckless, okay? Because Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody who will go to any extent, will do anything to get what she wants. Queen of Swords just thinks, okay? It's all about intellect. She thinks, she speaks it out. But this lady, the wants energy is all about action. It's not just saying things, just barking, no. This lady is determined to get things done, to get things to where she needs it to be. Hmm? I see you planning it out. The approach which you're taking is step by step. It's a fierce reading. Because you want it all with the Queen of Pentacles. I see all the Queens coming out. You want to do, uh, you want everything. You want to be the Queen of Pentacles. You want it to be secure and stable. But you approach and you know this is the only way out, putting the other person out of the picture. I don't mean, no. I mean, ending that relationship is the only way for you to have this in your future. 90 years from now, or probably 60 years from now, this is what you want. Hmm? Right now, you are very much stressed out, just thinking how things can be worked out according to plan. Page of Swords, it's almost like, even between the King and Queen, you almost, um, you know, it's kind of ultimatums. I need you in my life. I want that person to be out of your life. That kind of, you know, pushing energy, like, you know, you nag a person, that's how this, this kid is coming out. You know, jiving at a person to push them to do what you need. To walk out of the door, like I said, the door is half open. To walk out, you're, you're literally nagging the person to take the step to get out of their life and be with you. Hmm? Lots of temptation. There is a greed energy. Like I said, selfishness, manipulation, going to any extent. Not thinking about the other people who are involved. Not thinking about what is right and wrong with the fortune card up there. 
closing an eye to you know what is traditional what is right the book of justice is closed for you right now because this is your way of having your future secure you're very much overwhelmed about how things will move from here you have a direction in your head you want to reach there but for that to achieve that um, direction you need the help of other people yeah eight of coins you want others to help you out there has to be a team collaboration to make you get what you want otherwise things are not going to work out hard priestess in reverse six of wands six of cups things will come to a pause otherwise if this is sort of your last resort hmm? this doesn't work out this is like the last 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 uh, you know last solution i was trying to think for a while thank you lord last solution you know to finally push it to where you need it to be otherwise you can just forget about it hmm? you're very uncontent okay with this nine of pentacles that is why all this recklessness all the selfishness everything is coming through because you're very unhappy with your current status and you don't want to be parted away from this person because you're not getting anything out of it. That is why you're being, you're pushing yourself and your person hmm, to do the deed, to walk out from their foundation. Anyways, um, this is Marishi, you're my channel, Shiloka. Until next week, bye.